Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the top five things that are flying off the shelves at the dinghy shop. Okay, so here we are here at the dinghy shop in Amityville, New York. I have no other than Jim Cole, the proprietor of the world famous dinghy shop. Hey, how you doing? Hey. What are the top five things for the Sunfish Sailor that you have seen rolling off the shelves? Uh, one of them that's, uh, that just works really good because it's practical and functional. We have an all-in-one blade bag. So you can put your gear in here, the rudder and tiller fit inside here, the dagger board. It's got a nice carry strap. That's, right. a, that's a beautiful Can you item. open that up so we see how the, the, so it slides in here? Yeah. Oh, I see, very nice. The no, extension. Ev everything's all in one. So if you wanna pack it on a plane, you can. If you want to carry it to a regatta, you're all set. Right, and that's what I do when I travel during the plane. I actually use this as my luggage, and I stuff all my uh, my clothes yeah, and everything. And here's a tip for anyone who's traveling. They're going to ask you, what do you have in there? Don't say sailing stuff. They don't understand. Don't say hiking stuff. I and say don't fishing. Don't say blades. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I actually say it's just fishing stuff, and then they go for it. Yeah. I get this all the time. They, they ask me, what is a really good PFD for sunfish sailing? We like things that are, you know, tight fitting. They don't have anything on the on the shoulders. They float you, but mm -hmm. not cumbersome. And this uh, Zyke PFD has been, just been wonderful. It's Coast, Coast Guard approved, and we like it so much that we have our dinghy shop logo on it. I actually own, not with the dinghy shop logo, but I have the same one. The PFD is very comfortable. It is a very good item. It lasts for years. It's a good investment. So that's number two. This is what we've been talking about for the last few months. This is, what you know, is this? Lee, you said it, there's a lot of mystery in this, in all the changes with the sunfish. So we made a kit and this is the two to one main sheet kit. So everything's in there. There's instructions. You can put it on, practice with it, play with it. And it makes sailing the boat a lot more comfortable. It's right. just easier because you have a two to one purchase. Now, and so we have a kit. Now, a lot of people have asked, what's the length? You don't even have to ask for the length. The length is already pre-cut and it's, it's all, all good. Hold on, a couple of factors that work with a main sheet. The diameter, uh -huh. the stiffness, how supple it is, and the length. So right. we've gone through this like, hmm, what do we get? So we've, we've got something that's about seven mil. Uh, so it's a little bit over a quarter inch since you, you might think that that's, that's really thin. But since the two to one, you don't have the same pressure on your right. hands. I that actually use a nice. seven millimeter too. Okay. And this has been proven, you just ran the Women's North Americans. Sunfish Women's were here, yeah. And 49 people! They, Sunfish Women's! Yeah. <laughs> and then they had a lot of uh, two to ones out there. So it, it, this is probably as important as the Jens rig, or more important, I think. Yeah, there's going a couple forward. of critical things that have happened. I mean, when I started, uh we we started coming out with gooseneck adjusters right and now that's that like everyone sales yes. with a gooseneck adjuster uh so a gooseneck adjuster outhaul cunninghams we have that as a kit also and the two to one purchase on the um main sheet that's beautiful right so if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment section down below i read all your comments i really appreciate it so let's go after a couple of the smaller items that might be a good gift here we got the nice little sunfish hat uh, people like a cap and we actually make these so they have the velcro in, in the back and you might think what does it matter if i have velcro or the little button he stops but the velcro is nice because you can tighten it up on your noggin and when it's windy, whoo, it doesn't go blow off. Yeah, that's so, cool. a cap. Everybody likes them. You can get them in red or blue. This is what I consider the most important thing of this whole video. It's a really special item. It's affordable. And anyone who sails a sunfish, Jim, can you show me these things? So we have sunfish earrings. My wife, Susan's an artist, and so she made these earrings up. And uh, we, we, we gave these out to the competitors during this Sunfish Women's. Uh, so they hang on your ears and they're all different, different, different colors. We have these are one of a kind thing. These are really awesome. This is it. They're so nice and they're sunfish and they're hand painted with Susan. Susan, Susan actually designed the, the logo too, yes. right? Yeah. She's a great yeah. artist. That's, that's her passion is, is art. Those are the top five things that are coming off the shelves here at the dinghy shop. 
And if you like this information, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe on the channel, and hit the notification bell. And I thank Jim Cole of the Dingy Christmas, Shop. Everybody. And <laughs> this is this is great. And check these these earrings out. This is this out of the five things. These are definitely my favorite my favorite things. All right, thanks a lot, Jim. Okay, Lee. And I'll Bye, see you guys everybody. on the water. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you liked this last video. If you want to check out the items, check out the Dingy Shop at the dingyshop.com's website. I just want to remind you that I'm not sponsored by anyone. This coming winter and next season is going to be really exciting. So I'm going to be here continuing to make videos for you. And I appreciate all the comments and questions that I'm getting. And I really especially like meeting people from all over the place. Like for instance, last year's Worlds, I met the young teams from the US Virgin Islands and the Bahamas, and they are fantastic young sailors and they are gonna be so fast. And I also liked when you get someone like the Jive Gone Wrong, the Jive Gone Wrong video, I met her and her husband and she came up to me, they're from Oklahoma, so it was a pleasure to meet them and reaching out to some of the Italian sailors who are missing at this year's World Championship here at Rush Creek. So I'm really looking forward to next year and especially the World Championship being held in Ecuador. So John, have you uh, have you used that two to one before? First time. So you're you're First shaking time. it out right now, right? See how it is. What do you expect? What do you expect from it? Uh, I think I can sheet a little bit harder and be a little easier to keep the sheet in if it goes. Yeah, it's definitely. A hard like I, I actually uh, had experience with it at the Masters. You could all, you could tend to oversheet if you're not careful. Well, yeah. Uh, I think someone, I was talking to someone else last weekend, they said they have a tendency to oversheet a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's a good problem to have when it's blowing 20. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think at the Masters, I dropped my main sheet about five times because my hands were so oh, tired. Yeah. And it was, uh, that was a brutal regatta. All right, thanks. So stay tuned. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you like this content, check out this video.